let me share this. So yesterday we discussed about this uh, Android related features. So now so we'll concentrate on uh, next step. So that is like uh, how to handle the like the uh, Kotlin. So basic things on a Kotlin we will discuss. And uh, there also we'll discuss uh, what is what are the differences between this uh, Kotlin and Java, why we are referring that we are discussing. So for that, let me open here one document. So first. So first of all, what is Kotlin? Why we are referring the Kotlin? So here the Kotlin is the one of the latest language. So using this, we can write the code for the Android application as well as using the web application also we can develop this. But why the why not uh, that why this like first differences between so differences between Kotlin and Java. So here there are a few differences. First one, like here it is, uh, let us say, for example, like uh, if I write some code in Kotlin, for uh, suppose to write uh, 10 lines of code, same code if I write here, so that I can write in very lesser lines. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, with the uh, few, like uh, instead of 10 lines here, I can finish the code with four to five lines of code that I can finish here. So that is means in a Kotlin <coughs> that we can write like a table so that easily we can get. So this is Java here Kotlin. So here now, some more code, less code. First one is this is the more code, and here it is the less code. Then next, what is that one? The other advantage, like uh, next is like it is the uh, uh, null. It it cannot handle. We used to handle null, so cannot cannot handle. And nulls. Here it is the null safety. Like any exceptions will come automatically. The Kotlin can handle this. And uh, next, for example, like uh, latest topics, like that is uh, coroutines, uh, MVVM MVVM architecture, room database. So all those kind of things it will support. For example, here I'll write something that is. Uh, it supports coroutines. So what is coroutines? So this using the coroutines here now, uh, it can be like, it is a asynchronous call. So here it is asynchronous call, here it is coroutines. But there are major differences between the asynchronous call. Asynchronous call will uh, write directly executing, but for coroutines here will also almost similar as that. But always while executing, it will check null exceptions. In between, if any runtime on the run, on the run, if any uh, exceptions will get this, so this cannot handle that. But here, Kotlin can handle it. And also, come. This is the this is lightweight. Java is lightweight. But again, compared to this, again compared to this, it is very lightweight compared to the very mm -hmm. lightweight. So that is the main advantage here. This main, main majority of the this like if you go in detail like feature wise, so almost it is almost it is the same. So but here also, like uh, if you want uh, uh, compare performance wise, so it is uh, here it is the JVM means for comparison we'll use Java Virtual Machine here it is the JIT. So JIT is the just-in-time compiler, so it will be fast compared to the JV. So that is the main, main reason it is uh, supporting this. And also, it is the latest, and that is uh, this. And already we written the lightweight, right? So then, uh, 
So even here, uh, like for example, uh, in a Java code, in a Java project, only one class, if you write the Kotlin, it cannot work. But here, we can add, either we can add the both, like uh, first, uh, this basic means like how we can say, one file in Java, one file in Kotlin also, it will work. But here, it cannot work, that is so. So these are the main uh, benefits of this, like main advantage and disadvantage compared to this. That is the reason here we are doing here. But where can I see that Kotlin and how we know that? Because this is a completely new language. So we'll see that some of the basic syntaxes. So how to handle the basic syntax. Let us say, for example, in a basic syntax, first, first basic syntax uh, we will see here, that is uh, how to declare the package. So package means we already know that uh, some of the combination of the classes that we can say has the package. So to define the package in our Android, so like uh, in a Android means it is in a Kotlin. So package declaration. So package declaration. It's very simple, like we can import the package declaration, but normally here we want to declare our own. Automatically it will uh, declare, but we try to understand that how the import happens. So that is like the import space, something com dot Kotlin dot demo. What is the package? Like it will import like this. So com dot space, uh, sorry, import space com dot whatever the package name that will be defined here, like whatever the package name. So this is, let us say, I, I've written some example, like here instead of that, something example, something like that. So it will define like that. So it should match with the directory sources, whatever the directory source that while started actual program, there you can see actual what is supposed we had here. It's like uh, next is the, I want to write one small program. Program entry point. So like I want to write a smart program. So fun, this is I'm creating function. So for function, we will define fun. Yeah, this normal words, it is small word, but this is uh, because of this uh, like one main. So this is the main is the my function name right here. Start the brace. And uh, within a this, I want to write some print ln. So here now, uh, within a course, I'll write hello. Done. Then here, there are normal in Java, end of the statement, we will write the colon, but here, this is no colon. Right here, this now we will see here in a online directly, we can check. So where we can check that Kotlin playground. So this is the website here. You can now. Uh, add the code and you can check here directly. So here, now I have it this right. Now, uh, I want to execute this. See here, it is the run. See here. Uh, hello, right, hello. So this phrase, you know what we added, right? Phrase format is different, that's why it is showing here now. See, whatever we've written that has came here. Yes. All right, this is the basic program. Like, for example, uh, I want to declare open array. So, for array here, word main here, I'll write some ARGS arguments, colon. So, that is the array. Array uh, of array. Each format of array, this is the string array. Like I'll write that string. So this is a string array. Right. I declare the string array. So then I close that after that here. Print ln. So like here in this, we will write some ARGS arguments dot. So content. Just I'm writing the normal like how to print like how to define the array kind of thing. So that uh, I'm writing that content uh, to string. So content to string, whatever the content it is giving that I'm converting into string. Just I'm writing this one. 
like just see this is the array declaration means whatever the array now there is no values in array that's why just it is again like this it's like how to access that while we are discussing the main programs that we will see <clears throat> let us say here i don't want this array arg node right now here i want to print the data in two lines like here hello then after that i want to print uh, another that is a print ln so here i used to write good morning good evening something good morning or good evening something i want to write so good morning good evening like this then here see in a two lines this data is printed right so this is uh, how the data is displayed right let us say for example here second value i want to print as an integer so this is like what so it is an integer so either you can uh, do that and this value also you can do this right now let us say here i'll write something enter just it is a uh, basics how we are writing like uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll uh, clarify your question. But this similar code, we, can, we cannot use there in uh, our uh, program side. There will be a little bit difference, but just we try to understand that. Please enter any, just I'm asking that enter any board. So enter any board. Then here, now let us say I'm taking one bar. So variable, variable declaration, you will see here. Right? So here now, my uh, board, something, your board. So yeah. I'm adding some word that is equal to the read, a read ln. Just I'm declaring the line declaration. Then after read ln, then here now, I'm writing that uh, print so i'm not writing print ln print ln means it should be here so if i write like this it will what it will execute so it is showing now error so here now i ask to add the print print sum so you enter the word something I'm writing you enter the word folder. So here I'll write something print. So here whatever the your word this word here it have to print that that is my intention whatever that word you have to print here. What is that print error read ln. So whatever your word, it should read here. Enter your word. So it is not taking the value. Let, let, okay, this we will see. My like a useful set, useful things we will see here. Like I'll create one function called sum. I want to add addition of two letters. So for that here, now I'm declaring here. So a colon, this is in the form of integer. So integer means here we have to define as an format of int comma b that is also integer. Like I want to add some of these two variables. So output also I'm expecting in the form of integer. So that's why I'm declaring the like this. Then here, what I'm expecting a return is, so that return, uh, return, so a plus b, a return has k plus b. Right, now we will run this. First, we supposed to add from main within a main. Here, I supposed to 
add this is complete now. Yeah, this is the return. Now it is function declaration must be a name. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So what happened it is run is not giving an output. So why it is not taking the addition of two numbers? What link? So there's only something here. We can write this. Almost we have given here a plus b should come out. But some of some Like yes, it is okay. We have given in the declaration a plus b. We have not assigned the values. Yes, just sorry. So we have not assigned the value, but here it should be that. So for example, I want a minus. So you can add the minus. So like this, it will be work. Means here, if you already like uh, someone is already aware of uh, something code which is related to uh, Java. So for those people, it will be almost similar as, like there is no much difference, but who are uh, completely new for this, no worry. I'll uh, guide you so that uh, you can learn that, no worry that we can uh, uh, find out that de declaration. No, that uh, means we, we can go step by step. So that is, we can see this. I hope it is, uh, Clear as of now, or if you have any questions. Okay, so Roshan said, okay. So, okay, this is fine. Like here, so now we will see, like for example, um, I want to uh, find a prime number. So I want to print the prime numbers in between 10 to 50, like how to write that. So print, prime numbers in between of the 1 to 50. So how to write? So for that also, it is a similar uh, like here. So we will write here. See, first I want to write here. So this is the main right here. This main in a main. So we supposed to add some of the code like I want uh, some prime numbers, right? So I'll give one var min min equal to one. Like first I want to give the minimum value, like min value. Min is the maybe keyword, that's why I'm giving that like var. Uh, so okay, so var I'll give max value. So var max v, max value, so 50. Means we want to write the letters from here uh, here to there, right? So now for this, uh, we will write while loop, while. So this is while loop. Here, low, Oh, sorry, for this, uh, it is not right. like directly we can ask that no need of file loop here. Directly we will create uh, one function, uh, one function that is fun prime number. So I'm creating one uh, function called prime number. So within this, I want to write num, first number is an uh, integer, so both numbers should be integer. So that is the I'm checking with the boolean 
right here. I have to write the Boolean. Yeah. So with this Boolean, right first one, we have to take the one uh, var flag. I'm taking one flag that is equal to true. Means Boolean value, I'm considering as a true. But when it is considering as true, for that here, I'm writing for loop. So to write for loop here, so normally for loop we will write here int i equal to zero, but here int no need to write, directly we will write this. Uh, this. And here, next one. So that is a whatever the in, in value. If this is, I'm comparing with this, right? So for that, to space, to dot, dot. So num. So we have to pass that number. What is the number it is coming? By two. So that we are buying with the by two that is right now. Here, we will write now if in oh, means that is number is coming from here if num by divided by so what is the condition divided by i equal to equal to zero whatever the i value is coming that is equal to equal to zero then it says that here lag as the lag equal to false means what is the prime number if it is zero it should false it should false right Yes, it should not execute, then it should give the break. <clears throat> this is the basic. Then after here, else. <coughs> else, we're supposed to. Else means it's not here, it should come here. After this one is for the this and other is for the there. So it will give the break. Else now, <coughs> what is the meaning of this? So this is not in between, like whatever the value will be given that uh, value, min value and max value. So it will ask the values to give it that. But here, instead of that, what I want to give here is, I want to give <coughs> from user side, I want to ask the input. Like I want uh, some low value and some input value so that I want to print that values here. Print ln. Print ln.
sorry guys, yes, network as it's connected and reconnected. Okay. So now here, uh, where we are now, we have written, just I think I have written something here of that. I not seen that network is disconnected. But now we will paste it. So just uh, we have put some paste it now. I'm running this up here. Now the prime number in between of this. So here it is like you can increase here. So now it should be here. So one like this, it will print that. Here, see what is what I have written. So I have created one function that is prime number. Here I'm writing the logic that we can Yes. Uh, yes. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, can you please share your screen, sir? Oh, sorry. I. Uh, yes. Oh, sorry. I thought. I thought. Uh, oh, yes. This is a bullet. Means I just turn it and call it then. Because my. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'll access the Yeah, So, here now. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, I've already written a few changes. So, let me explain. So I have given as the in main function, low is one and input has this. So I'm just writing. This is optional, like you want to write, you can write, otherwise it can be, you can skip that. So while loop, I write like while loop. So always that is the, whatever the first value is given, that should be, definitely it should be uh, lower than this. Yes, I have written some condition. Even that is also optional to execute the program, but yes, I have written. And after that here, there is a prime number. So the prime number equal to this formula we have. Now, Yes, this is printing all the price. Let us increase. So, like this, it will increase them. Right. So, in this way, like here we, so just for your understandable, I have written these programs here. But what is my uh, process to be here? So, like, uh, whatever the programs we are practicing in uh, uh, Android. They, they are using the for loop, they are using if else to, so on the go that I'll add the programs and then also I'll explain here. But initial, you want to understand my coding, how I'm explaining like that, the reason that I have created here, few example programs here today. So but how it be, there it should be text like that. So here now, this is the basic program, but if you spend more time on this, we cannot concentrate more important topics on uh, Android side that is main important because we are uh, discussing as the industry standard, so that standard we will miss. That's why here I'm stopping this Kotlin code here. So leave this link like so, but the batch is confirmed. So I'll say these practice things where you practice and what are the steps here. Uh, where you will find the uh, small small examples of practice purposes and uh, so you then while you are practicing if you have some questions and then i'll satisfy this but for the time being now uh you can we can go back to that practice but here uh with this uh, uh we will close for the day if you have any questions for the day you can ask and tomorrow we will start first with the insertion of the android studio and after installation of Android Studio, we will concentrate on the first XML design. Uh, that XML design will take two to three days, the basic. After that, uh, along with the XML design, as well as one by one Kotlin program, we will concentrate this. Like which format we are using in our Android Studio, how we will write the code, then we will practice this also. Right, hope it is clear, or anyone have any questions? No, sir, I have a small queries. 
and yeah. this course duration will be for uh, two and a half months or yeah. 45 days it's the 45 days 45 days means 45 working days ah, so that it will go around two months i need total 45 to 50 hours of the uh, complete uh, to complete the course okay and uh, after this oh, demo sessions uh, will you start by uh, beginning only or uh, will you start from uh, where you have ended today so as of now uh, i'm not entered it is today only i started this basic program course but last two, two to three sessions i have done uh, last week two sessions and yesterday one session and then just i covered the theoretical topics like uh, what is android and uh, what are the benefits like oh there are different versions right versions and version wise features i have discussed so in case uh, if any new people will come if they like i will give you anyhow that uh, you will get the recording sessions of those also like if you want to so those also to explain like any weekend i plan and explain those concepts also in detail but that won't depend on this session there is no dependency for that session and this session from what the programmatic session will start from there everything will be dependent okay and uh, uh, at the end of the course are we developing any uh, on grid applications like uh, real time yeah, applications yeah. Yeah, that i have to make point see here uh, i create one sample project here in the uh, while discussing about the web service so they using the retrofit i can incorporate uh, many things into that like uh, there are uh, different concepts so uh, one is the registration login and after registration and login session management some personalized data then uh, if internet is not there how to handle the case so like so such kind of investment of the same two different topics i'll combine this so that will be as a real-time project scope so that uh, after that from there uh, if you follow the same standard and you can practice your and if you have any other concept you can practice on the real time examples or based on that but if you mix it this uh, whatever that we are doing uh, and that's uh, the real time project uh, complete full real time project cannot be time could not be sufficient that's why right. we are um, going on that side right. that is yes and uh, okay. you are already aware of and right like the uh, year we discovered like pirate material design uh, of, and the uh, room database, NVDM architecture, NVC architecture, also how to upload the apps in Play Store and uh, how to create an ad. Kind of these are that was like retrofit rolling. So including these all the topics in our course. Like end of the course, I'll explain you the AI tools also in our uh, project. Like how to use how to save the time by using the AI tools that also I like. Okay. Yes, right. That's okay. clear. Okay. So, so then now uh, we will meet uh, tomorrow. Eight. Tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.